Hi, and how's it going, Rompler users? Um, I realized that when we launched version 1.5.17, uh, some of you guys were having some issues so just wanted to go ahead and create a video real quick showing you how I use it uh, how I like to export um, and let's go ahead and test this thing together uh, so I'm running an M1 chip uh, the Mac OS version is Ventura 13.4.1 um, so let's go ahead and get straight into it um, here's my rompler we'll go ahead and grab some one shots and drag them in here just grabbing this bell I'll stretch it out just like that perfect uh, we'll name this bell super that's perfect for the company name we'll name it SL and for this we'll call it after hours uh, for this plugin okay uh, so we'll get under here uh, what we'll do is just we'll just change the background color to that for now so we'll make it a purple um, I can go ahead and click on rompler here text and we'll name it after hours just like that uh, we'll leave everything pretty much the same for now I'm not it's really just for testing I'll go ahead and create a brand new project here uh, soon but let's make sure everything's tested out properly so I created one preset let's go ahead and create a couple more just to test this out So now we have five total presets. That's pretty good for now. Let's go ahead and export this out. So we have After Hours VST. Let's have it go out as a AU instrument. Um, you can inscript if you want the samples. And let's go ahead and click Export. I'm gonna send it to my desktop. That will work. Now this process might take a while, so I will speed through it. Okay, so now the After Hours plugin reached 100%. Go ahead and click OK. And we see our zip file is now created on our desktop. We can go ahead and double click on it, just like that. And we have our dot component inside, which is awesome. So what we could do is we can go to computer, Macintosh HD, library, audio, plugins, component, and we could drag in our afterhours.component into our components folder, just like that. Perfect, so now we have our components folder in there. Um, now what we could also do is while we're at it we can go ahead and click export and let's make a mac vst3 version of it so what we're going to want to do is trash that zip we'll trash that existing zip that was on our, our desktop so that we could have a brand new version created and it will be a different format so instead of the au.component file it's going to be a .vst3 mac version that FL Studio and other dolls would like to read. So we'll go ahead and export that now. Okay, so now our Mac VST3 has reached 100%. And there is our after hours zip right here. So now when we double click on that zip file, it should produce a Mac VST3 file, which it has. So that's successful. Perfect. Let's go ahead now and drag it into our VST3 folder. So we're going to Mac HD library audio plugins VST3 down here. We'll go ahead and drag in that after hours VST just like that. Okay. So now we have our AU 
and our Mac VST3 in there. Uh, let's go ahead and save this project so we can come back to it later. Uh, we'll go ahead and click save. We'll name it after hours and click save. I'm running version 10.7.2. We'll click create and let's go find under SL after hours. Here it is. Voila. So let's go ahead and click create. It pulled up our VST just like that. And you can see all different five of our different plugins or presets. Sorry. Now that it's working in logic, let's go ahead and check inside of FL Studio. If um, what we're going to do is we'll scan for new plugins. So we'll go ahead and click find installed plugins. And there's our after hours uh, VST. Perfect. Awesome. So let's let this scan finish. There it is. So the scan finished. Let's go ahead and pull it in. Just like that. So you see we have it working in Logic as well as FL Studio. Well, you guys enjoy. This is my process. I'll go ahead and test an even larger plugin next. Uh, just wanted to shoot this video for you guys. Thank you everyone who's using Rompler um, and hope that this helps anyone that's having some frustrations.